Pierre Poilievre takes a strong stand against Justin Trudeau, arguing that Trudeau's policies align more with the New Democratic Party, NDP, than with the Liberal Party. So the Liberal Premier of Newfoundland says this Prime Minister's carbon tax will harm working class people just trying to heat their homes or drive to work. The former Liberal Finance Minister, which he appointed, says that this latest job killing tax that he's brought in will drive investment out of the country. And the Liberal Treasury Board president that he appointed accuses the prime minister of socialist baffle gab with liberals accusing him of socialist baffle gab. Will he just admit that he's actually not even a liberal? He's Canada's first NDP prime minister. Mr. Speaker, we have demonstrated over the past nine years uh, that investing in the middle class and people working hard to join it can create growth for the country. And that's why we're continuing to step up to put that growth for work by putting more money in the pockets of Canadians, whether it's through a plan to fight climate change that puts more money in the pockets of eight out of 10 Canadian families uh, across the country. The Conservatives emphasize the importance of economic freedom and minimal government intervention in the economy. Poilievre's criticism of carbon taxes and other similar policies highlights concerns that these measures increase the financial burden on Canada's working class and hinder economic growth. In true Conservative fashion, Poilievre opposes Liberal Party figures, arguing that their policies harm both individuals and businesses, destabilizing the economy, and undermining individual responsibility. The Conservatives value ideological consistency and a clear political identity, with Poilievre's assertion that Trudeau is closer to the NDP suggesting that Trudeau's policies are too far left for the Liberal Party. These criticisms reflect a desire to appeal to voters who reject socialism and totalitarianism, advocating instead for free market principles and individual liberty.